let's talk about autoimmune liver disease. Now, autoimmune diseases are the diseases where our immune system mistakenly attacks our own body and loss of self-tolerance leads to the production of autoantibodies that reacts our own antigens. Auto and autoimmune disease are classified into organ-specific and systemic autoimmune disease. Organ-specific autoimmune disease, yes, liver, the very important organ, one of the largest organ of our body, and autoimmune hepatitis is that forms a chunk of the autoimmune liver disease. Autoimmune hepatitis is a disease of exclusion. Why? Because we need to exclude all the types of viral hepatitis after which we can conclude a patient is suffering from autoimmune hepatitis. Autoimmune hepatitis is characterized by the presence of raised serum liver transaminases, presence of autoantibodies, presence of interface hepatitis on histopathology, raised IgG, and an excellent response to corticosteroids on treatment. It's of three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3. Risk factors include, yes, females are more prone, certain viruses, drugs, and patients with existing pre-existing -auto, pre autoimmune disease are likely to suffer from autoimmune hepatitis. 1.3% of the people having chronic liver disease suffer from autoimmune hepatitis. 40% of the patients, if they are untreated and undiagnosed, they die within six months. 60% of the patients, if they are not properly treated and diagnosed, they land up in cirrhosis. There is a revised international group of scoring system, which includes the clinical criteria, the histopathology, laboratory criteria, autoantibodies, and the scoring gives a conclusion whether the patient is suffering from autoimmune hepatitis or not. At SRL, we offer battery of investigations, right from immunofluorescence to line immunoassay. We have got specific panels which helps clinician to conclude the patient is suffering from some sort of autoimmune liver disease or not. Stay fit, stay healthy. Thank you.